Hey folks, welcome back to another episode. I'm the Beer Adventurer. I'm Carissa. And uh, today's beer is Sierra Nevada's Orange Pale. Uh, I've seen it a couple times at the grocery store and kind of wanted to grab it, so here it is. Uh, I know it's been out a little while, but so have I. All right. Okay, well, I already smelled something. Um, we're going to do a couple beers, and I decided to do this one first because it's actually probably going to be the one she likes least. But then again, if you don't watch these in order, it won't matter. <laughs> Very true. Okay. It smells weedy. Well, it's a pale ale, so... These are kind of like the little half pint glasses you got at TJ Maxx or some shit like that. Oh yeah, I fucking dig that. You don't like it? It's okay. Um, a little too hoppy for me. Really? Because I don't hardly get any hops. Um, yeah, I can feel it in the, in the aftertaste. Um, I like it. I mean, it's uh, not bad. It, it, for what it is, it's okay. It's just not my taste. It says uh, adding tangy orange to the classic style we pioneered doesn't come naturally to us. Our brewers argued over the perfect blend of bold hops and orange peel to create the best flavor in crisp citrus bite. It's a hop forward beer that can stand along the pale ale. Um, honestly, I would say yes. Uh, a lot of times what they say on the back of the beer bottles tends to be kind of doofusy. But uh, one of my first craft beer go-to beers was Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale. I really liked it. I still really like it. I still drink it on occasion. Um, but this has that little bit of citrus to it, too. It does. I dig it. I can definitely taste the citrus. It's just too hoppy for me. Oh. Um, you know, honestly, there's not a whole lot to say about a beer like this. Because if you've had their pale ale, you kind of know what you're going to. This is Sierra Nevada. So you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. This just has a little bit of orange. Um, I think this would pair pretty well with like some grilled chicken or um, a rice dish. I could I could do that. Uh, also, I think, um, although people may uh, question this one, uh, Mexican food. Yeah. Uh, also, just about anything beach themed. <laughs> so, um, that's what you got. So now we'll get to where kind of uh, my rating system. Uh, I think the first is: Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Would you have another? Probably not. I would. Uh, would you buy a six pack? Obviously not for her, but yes, for me. Uh, matter of fact, I probably will buy another six pack of it here in the near future just to throw in the fridge for uh, drinking all day beer. Um, so then I always give my beers one to ten, one being the lowest, one being the highest. What do you give this? <laughs> I, I'm sure for what it is, it's probably higher than I would give it, but I'd probably say four or five. Six. Okay, uh, for me, for what this is, I give this an eight. Uh, it's a good representation of the style. It's a good additive to said style. And from the price point that you're gonna be able to get Sierra Nevada, especially now that there's a Sierra Nevada in Mills, uh, Mills River, I believe. Uh, yeah, Mills River, North Carolina, not too far from Asheville. Mm -hmm. uh, that way you've got, the beer, you got fresh beer on both sides of the coast real easy. Uh, so this is definitely neat for me. So, there you have it. To your next beer adventure, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to drink it. You know how to drink it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>